Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have my fourth update for my skincare project pen that I started at the beginning of the year just to see how often I use up my skincare, what my regimen would look like, and for me to stick to an actual proper skincare routine. So I will be doing this throughout the entire year just to have a good idea of what products I like, how my skin likes them, and just I want to know what skincare really works for me. If you guys are interested in more project pans, please follow and I will link my playlist in the description bar below. All right guys, so let's start off with my progress. I have not finished off anything this month, although I did think I would finish off a product, but I was so close, but I didn't finish it off and that's okay. I don't wanna force myself to overuse products just for the sake of finishing them and for the sake of this video and that just doesn't sound reasonable to me anyway so let's get into the products the first thing i was working on was this dior instant gentle exfoliant and i use this currently once a week not nothing more i think i started using it twice a week and then i just cut it down to once a week just because i am using another um chemical exfoliator so i don't want to like over strip my face and my progress as you can see has been minimal this is where i was last month this is where i am right now and the weight did go down i was at 62 grams in my previous update and i'm currently at 60 grams so i do really enjoy this exfoliator it was gifted to me by my husband i really really enjoy it. i think this is one of my favorite exfoliators that i've used like physical exfoliators just because it's so gentle on my skin and i do really feel like it does make a difference so i really like this i don't think i'm gonna repurchase in the future though just because i want to stay away from physical exfoliators the next product i was working on was my kiehl's midnight recovery cream i do not like this product anymore i've had this for a long long time and i've been trying to just like work through it organically and remember to use it i use it on my neck just to like moisturize my neck i don't use anything else on my neck so this is my like neck moisturizer you can say and as a last step i just like put a few drops on my hands just rub it on and just tap it in and use it that way so as you can see the progress has been kind of minimal this is where i was last month this is where i am th today and i don't know why but my even though i've been using it every single day oh i do know why this month i was not on top of my skincare game there was a lot of nights that i would go to bed and not even wash my face or do any kind of skincare and it kind of i can see it in my progress right now so the weight did go down on this as well i was at 93 grams and i went down to 89 grams which is pretty accurate i have been going down in weight four grams each month so i don't know why the markings are so different though but it's okay and then for the main moisturizer that i was using i was using this limpio q10 moisturizer and i really 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 like this product once i'm done with a few more moisturizers in my collection i'm definitely going to be repurchasing this it felt so good on my skin every night when i apply it my nighttime skincare is complete but in the mornings i don't really have a skincare routine i just wash my face with water and apply sunscreen and call it a day and if i am going to be putting on makeup or something or if i feel very dry i just put on some oil and that's it i don't put anything else on neither eye cream moisturizers or anything just i I feel like an oil just suffices for me and that is why i couldn't really see through the packaging just because the product has stuck to the sides and it has just not been going do down although the weight has gone down and this was at 63 grams in the previous update and this month it's at 55 grams which is a huge leap down because i typically use around five to six grams per month but this time i used up eight grams so that's pretty good and decent and then for the sun the sunscreen that i was using every day it is from the same brand so this is the limpio sunscreen i have marked it on the side i don't have a lot left this is where i was last month this is where i am this month and i have been getting more consistent use in the past week i've started to 
use sunscreen even though I'm not leaving the house. Typically, I wouldn't do that. I would just like apply sunscreen if I'm leaving the house. But I just feel like every morning I wake up and knowing I don't have anything planned for the day, I just like open up all of my windows and apply sunscreen just to protect me from the UV rays. So I am enjoying using my sunscreen and just like lounging comfortably knowing I'm not damaging my skin. So this weight did go down as well. It was at 34 grams and it's currently at 30 grams. So yeah, it did go down. And then for my pimple cream that I thought would be done this month, this is the Smooth E Acne Plus uh, pimple cream. It has salicylic acid, it has salicylic acid and I love this. It works amazingly. Whenever I do have a breakout, I just apply it uh, on my breakout for two nights in a row and it's completely gone on the third day. I touch wood have been having pretty good skincare, uh, skin recently and haven't really had any bad breakouts, maybe one or two and that was like gone in two days. So the weight did go down from six gram to five grams. It's been going down around that much each month and there is really nothing left. I think there is the tiniest amount left right over here at around the cap and I'm pretty sure by next month if I do get any breakouts, hopefully not, it would be done by next, like in the next two or three applications. So this will be done most likely soon, if not next month, it will be. And then for the, I'm sorry that this is very out of like order of the way I apply. I'm just going by the order I put it into my project. So I'm just going one by one from the sheet that I have. And then for my hand lotion, this is my Pure Passion Lavender Hand Lotion. I had this open for two years and had used like the tiniest amount. And then I decided to put it into this project just to get rid of it just because the packaging is so bulky and I do not like uh, bulky packaging. I live in an apartment and I have a lot of products so I don't want stuff to clutter my space and I just want to get rid of my bigger bulkier packagings and lotions take up a lot of space and if we do move at the end of the year I honestly don't want to like lug around such a big thing so I have been getting some amazing progress ever since I put it into this project pan this is where I was in my previous update this is where I am right now as you can see I've done really, really well. And the weight has done, gone down by a lot. It was 225 grams in the previous update and I'm currently at 156 grams. So I've used around 70 grams of product, which is amazing. There's 16.9 fluid ounces or 500 mLs of product, which is great because so far, Based on my spreadsheet, I've used up around 300 mLs of product, which is pretty good. I'm nearly there. I think I should be done with this in two months, but if I do apply this very often, I, sh I could be done this month. I will hopefully use this more often and get this out of my collection because I really want this gone. All right, guys, and then for my eye cream, this is the second uh, eye cream I'm working on this year. I finished another Kiehl's one a few months ago and I am currently working on this Kiehl's, what is this, powerful wrinkle, wrink this is the Kiehl's powerful wrinkle reducing eye cream. I don't know why I'm having a hard time reading this, but this stood at 41 grams in the previous update and I'm currently at 39 grams. I will insert a photo of where I was. I am working on this pretty well. I do apply a generous amount of eye cream, but like I said, I only use it at night and not in the morning. So I think this should be done I don't know, in four to five months uh, based on what I expect and how I've been working on it. I am getting some pretty good and decent progress and I do really enjoy this eye cream, but I don't think I'm going to be repurchasing Kiehl's products in the future. We'll see. For my serum that I have been working on, this is the Clarence Double Serum. I really, really enjoy this serum. I apply it straight out of the shower when my face is still wet and 
moist so i do really enjoy this and the weight has gone down from 150 grams to 147 grams and let me show you guys the update I was here in my previous update and i am here currently so i have been getting some pretty decent progress and i am using more of it uh recently this pump you can see you can pump a smaller amount or a bigger amount i used to use the smaller pump but recently i felt like it didn't deposit too much product out for me to cover my entire face comfortably so i did switch to the bigger pump and just like i wanted the full on moisture and like hydration or whatever this gives me so i am enjoying this i don't think i'm gonna repurchase this in the future i don't know i'm just I just want to explore a bit more with skincare. And the oil that I was, I was actually using was this Body Shop Oils of Youth. And it's an intensely revitalizing facial oil. I've had this for a long time now. I think it's been two years. I'm not sure that I've been working on it. And I really want to get this, get this out of my collection. I do really, really enjoy this, especially under makeup. It works really well. It doesn't cause any pilling on anything. And that's why I don't really use any kind of um, skincare under my makeup. I just use this oil and it really nourishes my skin and plumps it up and i have been getting some good use out of this it was at 80 grams in the previous update and it's currently at 78 grams and from the lines you can see i've had some similar progress from the previous month so yeah i'm enjoying this i think i have another oils of youth cream i'm not sure but i do have something similar in a cream form in my collection so i'm not going to purchase this anytime soon i i do also have my bio oil that i i have a lot of oils in my collection so i'm not going to be repurchasing any for the time being until i get rid of a lot of them you know so i am going to be working on this for i think this should be done in like three months i'm not sure but three months sounds like a pretty good number to me and then for the cleanser that i rolled in two months ago this is my biore deep pore charcoal cleanser i do really really enjoy this but i don't think i'm ever gonna repurchase this because there is like a peppermint like ingredient in it where it burns my eyes whenever it's like i'm not careful when washing my eyes so i'm not gonna be repurchasing this because i do not enjoy cleansers that burn anything you know but i do really like the biora line uh, unfortunately this didn't really work that well for me it's still working amazing but i have to be careful around my eyes so the weight did go down from 227 grams to 207 grams so i have used quite a good amount of product and as you can see from the markings this is where i was last month and this is where i am this month so i've been getting some pretty decent progress um i've been really enjoying this for my exfoliator my chemical exfoliator i was using this nip and fab exfoliate this is the glycolic fix night pads extreme i am really enjoying this product i bought this based on the recommendations of a few people off, off of youtube but i don't really really remember who they are unfortunately i remember i got this a few years ago and i didn't really open it up until like recently so the weight did go down uh, from 114 grams to 101 grams and as you can see on the inside i have used a good amount of it i think i'm a third of the way down i didn't mark it in the previous months but this is where i am now and i am really enjoying this unfortunately i haven't found it anywhere here in stores so maybe whenever i travel and i know they have this i'm gonna buy a few more because i'm really enjoying this but like i said i want to try a few more exfoliators chemical exfoliators and see what i think about Last those but at least i actually rolled this in I don't know why I rolled this in, but I wanted to be better about taking care of my lashes and my brows. And this is my organic castor oil that the farm from my university uh, harvested and sold like uh, during the fair that we had yearly, annually. And this is, we have a huge farm because 
we do have like a scientific field research thing that we do over there. I did study biochemistry, so we did visit the farm a few times whenever we were doing plant stuff. But this castor oil is supposed to help with the growth of hair, and I use it on my lashes and my brows. I tried to once a day, but there was a week or two where I just completely forgot about this just because it is a very thick a product and it is a roller ball. This is where I was last month. This is where I am this month. I can't get this to focus on this roller ball. And the weight did not go down. So it was 32 grams in the previous update and it's currently 32 grams. I have not been really getting a lot of use out of this, so I haven't really been seeing a lot of like benefits off it on my brows and lashes. So I will try to finish it off. I do have a bigger bottle that I got as well, so I really need to be done with this. All right, guys, so that was everything that I wanted to update you guys on. I don't really have anything to, new to roll in. Um, I do really need to start masking more because my masks have been untouched for the past few months, but I'll probably put those into another like project because I just don't feel like it right now <laughs> so i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe once again and check out the playlists i also like posted my first clothing haul and try on yesterday so i hope you watch that and enjoy my content and i'll see you guys in my next video bye